You all did a great job with all of your shapes lessons and we finished learning about shapes. You can still hunt for shapes around your house and you're still gonna learn about shapes later, but for a little bit, we get to talk about something new. This is called measurement. Can you say measurement? We're gonna be measuring things. That means you get to find out how long things are or how big they are, how short, how tall. Ooh, it is fun to measure. I wonder if you have ever been measured before. Do you know how tall you are? I wonder if you have been measured before. So before we start the lesson, I decided to make this little chart because there's all kinds of words that we have to know when we're doing measurement. And sometimes it helps me out if I can see them on a chart. So I thought it might help you out too. Let me tell you about my words. The first one says, here, stand it out with me. Oh, oh, length, length, length. The first one says length. Can you say length? It has that sound at the end. Length is talking about how long something is, how long it is. Like stick your arm out. Look at that. We can measure the length of your arm. How long is your arm? And when we're using the word length, we're usually talking about if something is longer or shorter when we're comparing, okay? So put your arm out straight and say length, length. Good, okay, here's another one. Height, can you say height? Height, height is talking about how tall something is, how tall something is. So is it taller or shorter? Okay, height. So put your arm out and say length, length. Put your other arm up and say height, height, how tall it is. Length is how long, height is how tall. Got it? Those are the words that we're gonna be using. Longer, shorter, taller, length, height. I put these pictures just to show you a little, a little example. There's some cubes and the crayons and the cubes are longer and the crayon is shorter. Here I have a picture of a tree because when I think of a tree, I think about, hmm, I wonder how tall that tree is. So I put the measuring tape next to the tree because you might want to measure how tall it is, okay? Now I have a challenge for you. I made a little cube train. Count how many cubes are in my train. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cubes in my train. Now we're gonna compare the length, remember, that's how long it is, the length of the cube train and the crayon. Which one is longer? Hmm. If I held it this way, that would be talking about the height, about how tall it is. But I wanna know about the length. Now, before we get started, let me remind you of this. It's like running a race. Have you ever ran a race before? And everyone gets ready and you all start at the same spot because that makes it fair. If you were running a race and your friend started a couple of steps ahead of you, would that be fair? No, because they could get there so much faster because they're closer. You have to start at the same spot when you're running a race. Well, it's the same when you're measuring. You have to line up your objects so they're starting at the same spot. If I put my crayon way up here, would that be fair? No, they're not starting at the same spot. Look, if I put them on my paper, I can have them both start at the end of the paper. It's not fair if one starts over here. Just like in a race, it wouldn't be fair if someone got to start ahead. So if we're comparing them, remember the rule is we start in the same place. Can you say start in the same place? Start in the same place. Good job. Okay, so I have my cube train and I have my crayon and I'm looking at the length. I'm gonna start them both in the same spot. Which one is longer? The cube train is longer. Which one is shorter? The crayon is shorter than the cube train. The cube train is longer. Hmm, what about this though? I also brought over my pencil. Now I have to start where? 
in the same spot, right? So if I'm gonna put the cute train against the paper, I need to put the pencil at the paper. Ooh, things have changed. Which one is longer? The pencil is longer than the cube train. Which one is shorter? The cube train is shorter than the pencil. Now, what if I turned it like this? Wait, now we're talking about the height. Now we're talking about the height. It's going up and down the height. So which one is taller? The pencil is taller and the pencil is longer. The pencil is taller, the pencil is longer. Okay, I'm gonna get my paper and we can look at all kinds of things to compare. She's showing us the length and the height with her spoons. She's showing us here when it's turned this direction that the wooden spoon is longer, showing the length. And then when the wooden spoon and the metal spoon are going up and down, that this one is taller and this one is shorter. She's showing us with the refrigerator too. Her fridge is taller than the chair and the chair is shorter than the fridge. That's some of the stuff that we were just talking about with our chart. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's look at number one. Number one has the star around it, has two purple crayons, and it says to mark an X on the shorter object. Would I put my X on this one or on the bottom one? On the top or on the bottom? Which one is shorter? The top one is shorter and I'm gonna put an X on the shorter object. Let's look at number two. Ooh, this one says to draw the object around the taller chair. This kind of reminds me when we're at school and there's chairs at the kids' desks, and then there's a tall chair at the teacher's desks. Which one is taller and which one is shorter? The kid chair or the teacher chair? The teacher chair is taller. Great job. Let's move on to the next page. All right, for number three, we get to draw a circle around the object that is longer, but it says if they're the same length, to underline both of them. So if one of them is longer, we're gonna draw a circle around it. But if they're the same length, we're gonna underline it. So look at these pencils and start thinking about what we might need to do. Is one of them longer or are they the same length? You're right, they're the same length. Look at the pencil and this pencil are the same length. So I underlined the objects to say that they're the same. How about with the leaf and the branch? Are they the same or is one of them longer? Oh, you think one of them's longer? Okay, which one is longer? You're right. The leaf is longer than the branch. So I'm going to put a circle around it. Okay, let's look at the vases. Now we're talking about if they are shorter or taller. If they're the same length, then we're going to underline them. But if one is shorter, they want us to draw the X on the one that is shorter. So are these the same? No, they're not the same. I'm noticing that one is shorter. Is this one shorter or this one? The first one? This one is shorter. It doesn't reach up as tall as this face does. So I'm going to put an X on it. How about over here? They showed us two tape measures. They look like rulers. If they're the same, we're going to underline them. If one of them is shorter, we put an X on it. What do you think? They look the same, huh? So what should I do? underline it. I'm going to underline them because they are the same. Look, we did both of our papers very quickly today. Now let me show you your challenge. Okay, so for your challenge, I need you to go around your house and you're going to find some objects and you're going to tell me if it's longer or shorter or taller. Okay, so let me just give you an example so you know what I'm talking about. I went and I found my hairbrush and I found a marker. And so if I put them like this, I could tell you, Mrs. Powell or Mrs. Richardson, my hairbrush 
is taller than my marker. Or maybe instead of going to find an object, you want to draw it instead. So look here, I drew a snake and I drew a worm and I can say that my snake is longer than my worm or my worm is shorter than my snake. I have one more example to show you. Or maybe you want to go find something in your house. Like I found this tree in my front yard and look, I am shorter than the tree. The tree is taller than me. Okay, so go find your objects and record your video and tell me about the things that you find that are shorter, longer, or taller.